All right, what we've got here is a Kubota uh, loader tilt cylinder, and uh, we're going to be resealing it. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe this down a little bit. Raise that up a little. We're going to take the gland loose. Okay, this has got spanner holes here in the gland. We're going to try our spanner wrench first. Okay, we got our spanner wrench in. Try to loosen it. Oh, yeah, it's tight. This has got jaw marks on it, so I'd say it's been resealed before. So, get our pipe wrench. All right, continue to turn this out by hand. And if you can see it right here, this uh, wiper is blown out, so the rod seal is probably shot in this thing. So, got the gland loose, pull the rod out. And there we go. Next, we'll take this loose. And let this sit over here and drain. Next, we'll put the rod back in the vise. Snug it down. Okay, put a rag there under the rod. And that's probably an inch and an eighth socket. Got my inch and eighth socket, half inch drive impact. I'm going to take the uh, piston nut off. <laughs> All right, piston nuts off. I'm going to pull the piston off. I'm going to pull the gland off. And Not in the world. Okay. This is actually this is actually a uh, U cup in upside down. Well, it's actually in not upside down. It's in the right way, like as far as facing the right way towards the pressure because the bevel is right there on the bottom but this is in the wrong location this is a rod seal as you can see i just pulled that right out it's got silicone or something in there somebody's held that in with silicone so they didn't know what they were doing this is this is probably the right seal for the rod, and if I had to guess, they may have this wiper in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, this is why you don't reseal uh, your cylinders unless you know what you're doing, or watch it on here and let me show you. Um, let me take this this seal out, which appears to be. I get it out in one piece. Oh, that thing's brittle. Okay, there we go. Okay, no, it's actually a, another U cup. So, I'm not sure the thinking here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what they were thinking on this, unless this was resealed by a DIY guy. A lot of people think that this is the main seal, and it's not. Your main seal is always 
inside underneath the wiper if you can see. So we get all these seals off of here. Take the O-ring off. Take the backer off. And take this O-ring off. That's it for the head seals. Piston. I've got a seal kit here that customer brought in. So hopefully this is all right. That piston seal looks a little large for this actually. I don't think this is, yeah, that ain't the right kit. This ain't the right kit, so I'm going to have to go get my scale and uh, measure out all these seals. Okay. Take this piston seal off. Take the expander off. And this wear band will be reusing. And there's an O-ring inside. There. Take that out. Okay, we got all the seals out. The old seals. I'm going to go get the new seals and we'll uh, put them back in. In the meantime, we'll clean the gland up, wipe the piston down, get everything clean and ready to go back together. Got our new seals here. And uh, let's see, first we'll start, first we'll start with the head or the gland. Got our U-cup here. Um, this was the seal that we saw before they had it like this right here at the top in the um, wiper groove when they should have actually had a seal that looks like this this is the uh, wiper this is the wiper that should have been used this is correct this is a pressure seal u-cup this was incorrect at any rate this is what should have been used, not this. All right, now we're going to put the we're going to put the U cup in the main rod seal. It goes with the lip facing down towards the pressure in the gland. The, this is a little stiff. Typically, I'll just work this thing around here like this. Try to to soften it up, give it a little bit of flex. And you can put this in water, heat it up a little bit, get it more flexible. But typically this works for me. So I get that somewhat pliable, flexible. Take it. I get it started in there. Okay, so I get it started in the groove. Now it's a matter of pushing that thing all the way in. Right there. Okay, now we put our wiper in. The lip always faces out towards the exterior so it can scrape away or wipe away dirt and debris. That's what that seal should have looked like. Okay, flip it upside down. Take our O-ring for the top of the, uh, the top O-ring. Roll it down. So there, take our backup ring. This has a concave side. It goes on with the concave side facing to where the O-ring is going to go. Just 
just like that. That concave is on this side because we put our O-ring on and we put that in there. Now that backup ring, that concave is, allows for the contour of this O-ring because this is backing the pressure from this O-ring. And that's it for our gland. Lastly, our piston, our piston seal. Okay, take our expander. It's in just an O-ring, put it on first. Then we'll take our piston seal. This is a Teflon style piston seal. Start it in the groove. And I like to just roll it around like that. And where that's uh, where that's deformed out, I take my seal clasping tool and let that sit for for a little bit. While I'm waiting on that, take some grease. Get some grease in that gland on that rod seal. This has got a chamfer on it already, pretty good. I'll take. Slide that on. Okay, that's going to be a little tight right there, so. Typically, I'll take my socket or whatever, something that'll fit fit on the end of this gland without damaging it. And basically, we're going to take we're going to take hold that tight and give that a little bump there. Once that's on, check our grease. Look for any rubber from your seals then typically if there's no no tears or anything typically I'll use the reuse the grease on my gland seal here and that's ready okay we'll take our seal tool off and that's collapsed down a little more um, we'll take our other o-ring it goes inside it goes inside here if you can see that groove in there so we put this in that's in there in the groove put a dab of grease on it slide our piston back on and this is a uh, this is a locking nut, so we could go back, just tighten this down, but typically I like to use some 121 thread locker. Just put a little bit on there and we tighten it back down. We got uh, our seals back on. Take this loose from the vise. All right, we've got our tube back in the vise. Get a little grease, put it on that piston seal there, and the rest of it. Now we're ready to put it back in. So once your piston seal gets to the chamfer in there, take and push pressure on it while walking it around. And it'll go right in, typically. Push the gland up. Get it started by hand here. Run it as far as you can get it until that O-ring starts to catch, which it's catching now. It's getting tighter. 
Okay. It's about as far as I can take that. Now I'll tighten it back down with the pipe wrench. Get it there. Give it a... There we go. All right. After all that, we are now done with resealing this cylinder. Again, this was a uh, tilt cylinder off of a Kubota front, front end loader. So if you enjoyed this, uh, please go down there, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn the bell on for notifications uh, so you don't miss any of our videos coming out. I sure do appreciate you. Hope you like this content. And if you would, if you like the content, go down there and leave a comment. Uh, let me know if what I'm doing is good. Uh, if you want to see something different, give me some feedback. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.